Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces March 10, 2023. With the moon's move into your opposite sign, your social life can get some much needed attention. Your need for others is enlivening. You're investing yourself in your relationships today and tomorrow. Saturn has just begun its long-term transit of your privacy sector, drawing you inward. Saturn is here until 2026, signaling the need or desire to take better care of yourself spiritually. This may involve putting an end to situations that have crossed reasonable boundaries. You'll be ridding yourself of regrets, disappointments, or perceived failures. It's an important cycle of contemplation and spiritual renovation, and it's a time for facing your inner demons and tackling the vague fears that undermine you. You are challenged to take care of unfinished business, regroup, process, and heal during this cycle that will last most of the next three years. You are in a great position to evaluate whether you are getting enough time to yourself and for adequate sleep, reflection, and rest. A new long-term trend is just beginning for you. This is because mighty Saturn, the great taskmaster planet and the ruler of karma, life lessons, and hardship, has decided to descend into your solar house of privacy, seclusion, and the unconscious. This trend continues until February 2026. While this could bring you a rather unique energy to navigate, perhaps having you become more focused on privacy and solitude, it can also help positive karma to be paid off during this time. However, on a romantic level, this transit will make it much harder to hook up if single. You could also be deeply unpackaging what role you want love to play in the decades to come as this period proceeds. Shift focus to your professional commitments. The moon will enter your opposite sign, making your arrangements and partnerships the main focus of your workday. As the Venusian moon permeates your workday, you may feel more inclined to work alongside someone instead of flying solo. Although being independent is your usual speed, the moon in Libra might be a sign to partner up with a colleague to get through your to-do list and meet your obligations. You may even feel more at peace working with someone than alone. Before leaving your work sector and wrapping up the full moon here, the moon will form a friendly aspect to Pluto for one last time before he leaves your career sector. In the heart of the working week this is giving job and career matters a boost but with Venus, the planet of money returning to your income sector next week to begin the most lucrative weeks of 2023 the timing couldn't be better. Keep asking yourself what health means to you, even if you found it impossible to stick to any kind of routine lately. Asking the question an important step in doing those healthy things, because in order to commit you need understanding. For you especially, there has got to be a connection between the heart and the mind, it beats the running around in circles game. Keep investigating where the food you eat comes from. You're sure to find yourself focusing on finances on this day. Everything from your career and the making of money, to your goals and the spending of it become far more prominent with this essence. This makes for an excellent time for you to review your current situation and to consider making whatever changes you feel are necessary. If this area of your life involves another person, like a spouse, be sure to talk thing over with them. Setting joint goals will see greater success. Before leaving your work sector and wrapping up the full moon of the last few days, the moon will spend its final hours at a friendly aspect to Pluto, for the last time before he leaves your career sector. This has been a friendly aspect that has played out every four weeks since Pluto returned in 2008, with this last encounter giving you the insight and momentum needed to make these final weeks count. Meanwhile, while things will continue to evolve across the income, work and career fronts the moon is turning its attention to your relationships. What makes the timing of the moon's return to your relationship sector today significant is that it returns on the same day that the dwarf planet Ceres moves into her final two weeks here. The moon returns to ensure you are emotionally engaged as Ceres' deep dive into your relationship needs and priorities draws to a close but also in time to capture Mars' final weeks in your communication sector and of his war against communication barriers. Our Eyes in the Sky
Today, the celestial body we know as the moon has shifted into the zodiac sign of Libra, inviting us to take a closer look at our partnerships and how we engage with others. However, it's important to note that an opposition between the moon and Jupiter may stir up some unease or apprehension regarding our relationships. If you find yourself experiencing these feelings, it may be helpful to open up and discuss them with your partner or a trusted friend. Rather than avoiding or suppressing these emotions, take the time to explore why you might be feeling concerned about commitment. Honesty and vulnerability can be powerful tools for fostering a deeper understanding and connection within your relationships. By engaging in open and authentic communication, you may discover new insights about yourself and your partner, ultimately allowing your relationship to grow and flourish. So, embrace the opportunity to delve into your emotions and have meaningful discussions with those closest to you. Our minds are sharper than usual, and we possess a heightened sense of perceptiveness and insightfulness, allowing us to delve deeper into any situation we encounter. Take advantage of this moment to examine your behaviors, specifically any tendencies towards perfectionism or self-criticism. Consider the origins of these impulses, and whether they are helping or hindering your personal growth. Are they encouraging you to evolve, or are they preventing you from trusting your intuition? In addition to examining ourselves, we can also use this transit to gain a deeper understanding of those around us. By taking an interest in others and striving to understand their complexities, we can strengthen our relationships and create deeper intimacy. After this aspect reaches its peak, the moon will enter a short void of course, signaling a time for self-reflection rather than starting new projects. Use this moment to take a step back and evaluate your thoughts and emotions. With this newfound clarity and self-awareness, you will be better equipped to navigate the world around you. So, take advantage of this opportunity for growth and introspection, and trust that the universe will guide you towards the path you are meant to follow. Following its brief void of course, the moon transitions into the charming and social sign of Libra, where it will remain for the next two days. During this time, the only planetary bodies in air signs are the Moon and Mars, and this light-hearted energy provides a much-needed respite from the intensity of recent events. The Moon's influence encourages us to focus on all things harmonious and beautiful, leading us to feel emotionally attuned to the arts, music, and all forms of aesthetic expression. However, this transit also reminds us to maintain diplomacy and tact in our personal affairs. While the urge to people-please may be strong, it's important to pay attention to the individuals we choose to match our energy with. Are these connections authentic, or are we simply trying to keep the peace? By staying true to ourselves and maintaining healthy boundaries, we can foster genuine relationships and connections that bring us joy and fulfillment. Overall, this lunar period offers a welcome opportunity for levity and lightness. Embrace the beauty around you and allow yourself to be emotionally moved by art and music. But remember to approach personal relationships with care and authenticity, as this will ultimately lead to more meaningful and fulfilling connections.